Hello everyone and welcome all back to our tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to learn how to set the default humanoid for the characters in our game. To start we're going to go to the starter player, we're going to click on the plus sign, we're going to add a humanoid object and then you're going to rename that humanoid object to starter humanoid. So now we can go to the properties window of the starter humanoid and you can change any property you want and that's going to be the default property for all the characters that joins the game. For example, I'm going to go down to break joints on death. I'm going to uncheck that and I'm going to go down a little bit further. I'm going to set the uh, walk speed to 99 and I'm going to set the jump power to 300. Let's now play and take a look. All players, all characters that joins the game is going to have those properties. You can see I can run really fast, jump really high. And let's see what happens if I die. My joints are not gonna be broken up. It's staying intact. So that was it. That, that, that's how you set the default humanoid for all the characters in your game. I just wanna show you one more thing. Uh, in our prior tutorial, we have learned how to set the starter character. So now I'm gonna bring our starter character from our prior tutorial into the starter player just to show you a complete picture of the starter player. All these objects in the starter player, the starter humanoid, which we just did, the starter character, starter character scripts, and starter player scripts, those are all the different objects that you can have inside your starter player. Let's play again, take a look. And now we're, having, we're using the starter player, which is an R6 rig type. And Let's see what happens. He, he can still jump and run really fast. Let's see what happens if he dies. The joints are staying intact as well. Before we end today's lesson, I just want to point out one thing. If you click on your starter humanoid, go to the properties window, you can see a rig type property. So the rig type property is set to R6. And as you can see with the R6 rig type, we, we tried both the R6 and R15. They both work fine. But in case you find something wrong, something that doesn't work right, one thing you might want to do is you want to match the characters in your game to the rig type of the starter humanoid. To do that, you can go to game setting and you click on avatar and you can force the player to choose either an R6 or R15. If you let the player choose whatever they want, then you can have a mismatch. The player could have like an R15 and your starter humanoid is using an R6 rig type or the other way around. But anyway, um, I have used R15 for the R6 rig type in the starter humanoid. I didn't find any problem there. But the opposite, when the starter humanoid, I set it to R15 and I use an R6. I noticed that when the player with an R6 rig type dies, it, the, the player sometimes doesn't re respawn back into the game. So uh, just keep that in mind. All right, other than that, uh, just give it a try, have fun, and take care. We'll see you in the next tutorial.